Hello, hello. So this is going to be a video talking about some kinds of energy cultivation stuff. Excuse me, my mouse is a little bit laggy as you see, so I have the, um, the touchpad here. And here is a basic diagram of a kind of like an energy pathway of what we're going to talk about. Now, of course, you might notice that these are the shoulder joints, these are the hip joints, a little bit of a low hip joint there, but excuse that. And usually there would be the knees, the ankles, the um, elbows, and wrists. And even you could put like you know, various thoracic, cervical, lumbar, etc. Uh, joints, but we're not going to do that. <clears throat> Just to simplify it, because we're going to work on more, you know, some, some hammer and some basic stuff. So anyway, um, chi, what is chi? It's spirit in the Western term. And what is spirit? Well, it's basically just hot air. To put it very simply, it's just heat. Um, well, not exactly. It's more like heat comes from it, so to speak. It's like energy. Energy is consciousness. That's a good one that I heard the other day um, from this interesting book. Energy is consciousness and consciousness is energy, which is true as far as you know a first easy glance of course i'm not going to bother debating it and trying to you know, deconstruct it but essentially wherever you have energy in the body you have consciousness meaning that there are certain areas of your body for example let's just assume here maybe you have a bad lateral or a lung maybe your neck is hurting you and you can't feel it or maybe you've got like a head problem or something where you actually can't um feel these areas are subconscious because you don't have any consciousness in those areas and you don't have any energy um now blood travels through your veins and arteries and such and you've got major ones which basically look like this diagram it looks very similar you've got a major artery which kind of inter intersects here you've got the blue one and you've got the um the other the red one um you know i'm honestly i'm not a, a medical person so i don't know what they mean but they kind of look, look like that and um that's actually, that actually kind of looks cool uh, okay, so you've got major arteries that basically look like this. Now, yes, energy does travel across these arteries because it's kind of like blood pressure and artery arterial inflation is due to, you know, if you think like a balloon, a balloon gets bigger with air. Um, an artery gets bigger with hot air being kind of pushed through, which is chi or spirit or energy in this context. So it, it opens up your blood flow. Um, which is why you know certain things close the blood flow and certain things open the blood flow. That's why I'm a big advocate for like not smoking cigarettes, as amazing as you know tobacco is. <laughs> Hitting the bong for the first thing in the morning, you know, sitting on your ass because it's that powerful. I get it, man. But um, these things close the arteries and make it really really bad maybe if you're like really good at this stuff or you have just incredible um, physique or you know, energy flow maybe you could probably do that but um, most stimulants close it down so you know, just be just be mindful about that similarly you have certain energy drugs chi drugs chi pills whatever I make you know my own herbal stuff myself and when I take one I notice that I am full of pressure like literally I'm feeling like I'm gonna burst and sometimes if I take too much because it um, it fills you full of pressure quite literally that is you know as I said, that is energy it's just this ambient pressure and you need to know how to channel it because um, like I've been noticing the past few days I've been having too much energy for some reason I'm not I'm honestly not sure why I think I'm just getting to a point in my um, cultivation where I am kind of like breaking through to a stage or I'm just you know I'm just more developed so I always have energy and I just have to learn how to channel it so basically yeah I, have to, I literally have to learn how to channel it better because it's it's um, too much now what happens if you have too much energy is it it pools in the belly region <clears throat> The navel's kind of around here. The the, um, the pelvic area, the pubic bones, kind of around here. Just for and this is like the lower uh, 
It's a little bit big of a lower belly. Maybe you can look here. That's probably better. Pubic area is here. Lower. This is a whole lower belly region. So it's kind of the a little bit of the upper belly and a lot of the lower belly. It's um pretty much the small intestine whole area. Uh, yeah, your guts essentially. Your guts and a little bit of the bladder. A little bit. I notice if that fills, um, it'll you know enhance the flow. Uh, FYI, if you have if you always have a bladder that fills, you need to channel more energy through the legs. And if you have a heart which always has too much heart pressure, you need to channel the energy through the arms, which is what we'll kind of go into. Anyway, you will develop too much pressure here, and you'll literally feel it. Um, you won't really want to eat, not because you will. It kind of gives you a low appetite because you feel like you don't need food, which you literally don't need food because you have too much energy. <laughs> it is still good to eat though, um, just to you know make sure you've always got enough and to always give yourself you know backups and whatever, and just to kind of keep a good cycle. But um, yeah, you'll feel like you don't really need to eat because um, you just have so much internal organ uh, gut pressure. This is also why I do not recommend doing pure Dantian meditation. It's also why you don't really do much Dantian meditation until you've perfected the outer flow of the body. Because what happens if you pull into the, uh, this is called the Dantian or the, the navel center. Technically, it's not the solar plexus. The solar plexus is like here. Um, you can call it like the gut chakra or the belly chakra, navel chakra, whatever you want to call it. Lower Dantian, it kind of intersects. Lower Dantian, technically, the center is like here, but you know, the whole the place where you feel it is just this, you know, your belly. Uh, anyway, yeah, so if you've got too much pressure here, you've got to channel it out. And um, similarly, there are some people that basically just focus on their this is the internal. I'm oh, gonna screw that here. Let me, let me fix this up technically kind of intersects on those joints. This is the internal world and this is the external world. The external sphere, right? Which is made up of your arms and your legs, quite simply. Um, so you've got the main three centers here, you've got the main three there. You don't want to just keep your energy in the internal center. Or what will happen is your heart will get really pressurized and you'll get gut burn or heartburn and and you'll get kind of emotional and um and if, it, if it's in your head too much your head will hurt you get headaches uh, it's not very nice if it's here you will get you know you always need feel like you need a piss your gut will be bursting full of um pressure and it's not so good so you got to kind of channel it outwards similarly it's not so great to be excessively out excessively focusing on the outer body but you know what can you do eh? so you got to kind of modulate these and um, I just feel the whole feel of the whole body like literally just feel the body and just feel the limbs and the legs and the head and all that stuff and that works pretty much fine just to keep a nice flow and just good you know just relax and just kind of keep it feeling all nice and good um, now an interesting note on steroids and male uh, sexual hormones. I think we could probably do the one to women as well. It might be similar, which in birth control is um, female steroids, and I don't recommend you take either of them. <clears throat> it's not good for your fertility um, or health. Now, what I notice with men who take uh, steroids is that they have a very developed upper chest region. And they have a very good circulation to the upper chest region. Even some steroids will be taken, rubbed onto here. Some of them are otherwise you know, needle in the butt. <laughs> the, the kind of pelvic region. Um, so I think they, it, they think the steroids causes a um, excessive. This is called the middle dantian and the upper dantian. You just think of middle energy center or heart energy center, head energy center. I think it causes an excessive amount of energy around that, the middle energy center. And that's why they get you know, huge ass arms, shoulders, um, traps, pecs, all that um, huge lats, delts, etc. Is that there's so much energy running through here. Um, same with people who are very manly. 
and same with like a, a woman who tries to be like excessively manly they'll be kind of always up in this you know up in this region um, this is like the you know the masculine region I hope it's not too much <laughs> not too many lines now you know it's kind of confusing everyone um, so to contrast that potentially if you have a lot of estrogen or if you take to say uh, birth control it might have excessive amounts of lower energy causing like a really thickening of the legs um, an excessive amount of like liquid so you might get kind of fat uh, and you might always be you know the energy might always be there similarly if you have a lot of uh, lower energy that kind of causes that's kind of what happens uh, yeah you kind of feminize a little bit and not not to say you like turn into a girl or anything but you you kind of focus hyper focus more on the lower regions um, yeah I don't know it's weird <laughs> I don't know how to explain it just kind of feel it out similarly if you focus on the higher upper one like if I have too much energy here I get really emotional I like expressively emotional this one's more internally emotional this one I get really like angry and just fucking like, everything pisses me off everything I just I want to like fight with everyone um, the tiniest little thing it's like if it does feel like I'm on um, I've never taken you know steroids or train or anything but from what I've heard it's basically the the trend horror stories <laughs> so that's how I think it works essentially is that male hormones cause the energy to mostly rise and female causes it to lower now of course during the day um, the energy naturally rises and during the night it naturally falls similarly during the day your energy naturally goes into the limbs and during the night it naturally goes into the inner area of the body now you can you can notice this by pressure where is the pressure as I said the energy is spirit spirit is the invisible fire basically the, the, the heat the somethingness which causes heat and pressure in the body it's chi um, yeah anyway that's why you can breathe and get energy so that's why we breathe into the belly because the belly that's pretty much in the number one energy center now here's a weird interesting other thing about genders and all that apparently women are more blood based while men are more chi based so people interpret it that the men is focusing on the lower dantian now I wouldn't interpret it that way actually because um, that's more jing or sexual energy or root energy and all that I would interpret it that it's like you could split the heart into two sides blood and chi or blood and pressure or you know, energy, spirit, heat, whatever. Um, so it's like two different sides of the coin. And maybe you're a man who's focused on this, or a woman who's focused on this. And it's like you know, you're gonna interpret, or you're gonna feel the physical aspects more. Potentially assuming uh, if you are a woman, or you're gonna feel the more spiritual aspects. You know, if you're on the masculine side. Now there's this weird dynamic where things go like zigzaggy. So maybe you're a man, you know, man, spirit, heat, upwards, heaven, all that stuff, and you feel the physical aspect, which it zigzags. So you go from here to here, and then it just keeps bouncing to other dimensions. And that's this weird phenomenon, you know, that um, it, things zigzag because of gender polarity zigzags. All right, so. I think that's all I'm going to talk about. Anyway, um, meditations I would say is just learn how to focus on the whole body. Notice if your head center is too you got too much focus and pressure there, and um, you know, you'll get you'll get head pains. And notice if you're feeling head pains. If so, flow it out to your arms, your legs. Um, if you have too much lower energy, again, flow it, keep flowing it out to the legs. If you've got too much hard energy, focus and learn how to feel it. Flow it out to the arms. Uh, yeah, pretty much learn how to feel these centers and um, learn how to like keep it or learn how to just flow it out naturally to the to the outer bodies and such. And um, to feel how much pressure you have. Because maybe you don't have much internal pressure or maybe you don't have much like, you know, 
chi pressure at all and doing and and now you can learn how to develop it and build it through you just get naturally through food through like heat like baths and all that your various herbs breath meditation exercise you're just doing anything to naturally get it and anyway uh hope that helped and of course if you're interested in commercial stuff or you need to throw me an email uh check the bottom uh, the thing in the bottom i've got your yeah, products and services you can check out on gumroad or on fiverr uh, that's all hope you hope this helps and goodbye